In this video we will be introduced to the widget interactions and notes palette. As per version 6.5, the right hand side of the UI is dedicated to widget settings. The difference being that in version 7 we have the contents of the old widget properties palette now split across two palettes, interactions and notes and widget properties and style. Let's select a widget to enable the various settings, then we can explore what is here. The object name field is what you see first here, really important this one. You need to name your widgets well. With complex interactions you'll find you'll be browsing a large list of widgets you can affect change to. It is usually at this point when you realize your naming convention is not great and you're lost. It is often advisable to do some planning on paper of your prototype. You can do quick rework with paper and start to develop and test naming conventions and seeing if they work. The widget interactions tab is where you add interaction. I'm not going to go into detail here, uh, but a key point to remember is that different objects have different interactions and events available to them. Version 7 has a shortcut to the most basic interaction to create link. You can quickly get up and running with interaction by creating simple links between wireframes. Also note that down here there is a more events link. Because there are so many events for each object, not all can be squeezed into the palette. This often gets missed. The widget notes tab is where we can add notes about the selected widget. Like page level notes, you can customize these. The customization that's possible here is what sets Axia apart from other prototyping uh, techniques, I feel. More on notes coming up. 